all right welcome back to another g auto repair youtube video and today we're working on this 2017 nissan rogue uh the complaint is that it runs rough we only have 27,000 <clears throat> miles almost 28,000 miles on the odometer and uh it seems to be running kind of rough and uh I've already installed uh, the electric uh, chassis ears and just for the sake of sparing you the boredom I've already installed it so I'm not gonna really go through all that I've got other videos on that topic both in English and Spanish if you're interested feel free to check out the channel and check those out but anyways um, this one is a little tricky to uh, to detect using the conventional method of just jacking up the front of the car letting the tire spin seeing because this has got, got a bunch of you know anti-collision uh, systems and sensors and whatnots <clears throat> so I couldn't get it up to speed to, to to do the noise and it's not super bad but it's enough to where at higher speeds you can you can hear it and you can feel it like a, a, a rumbling vibration of sorts um, so I decided to bring out the big guns this time and uh, bring you guys along for the ride to see how how this works so um, I'm gonna go ahead I already got the uh, chassis ears uh, on and I got four of them installed I got number one here in the front driver number two and the front passenger three rear driver and four uh rear passenger so right now i can already feel and and hear a little bit of the noise if i were to swerve a little bit like this it can actually get worse so i know i'm having an issue on the front passenger side we're just going to use this to confirm our suspicions <clears throat> so as soon as i uh get up to speed i'll go ahead and begin the test okay, okay so, so we, we are, are moving, moving now, now. <clears throat> then we get up to speed about 50 60 and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and go through these numbers here so right now we're set in number one as you can see there's not really much action going on here in the uh, in the bar here we're gonna go over to number two and you can immediately see that there is a uh, there is some action going on there. So number two is going to be the front driver side. Uh, correction, dri front passenger side. Wheel bearing. So we're having wheel bearing issues. Now we're gonna go to number three, which is uh, rear driver. And there we can see we got some action going on there as well. Now we're gonna go over a little curve here. Let's go back to number two, which is the front passenger side. And we're gonna hear when the weight of the car is going on that side. You hear like a little knocking there. So that's common with wheel bearings. When you when you sway from side to side, it may get worse or better, depending on where the weight of the car <clears throat> is being distributed to. So every time I turn left, all the weight of the car is going to the right. So it's applying all the pressure to that wheel bearing. And hence the the increase in noise so we're gonna go back to number three we haven't gotten to four yet let me get in here to get a little bit of speed okay we're gonna go to four there we can see pretty 
really quiet. Right there, you can feel the rumbling. passenger we got in the right passenger and what's going on here uh, I think I think somebody got pulled over here Definitely got an issue in the front passenger and rear driver. Anyways, that's how we troubleshoot uh, wheel bearings when they're a little bit uh, or other suspension chassis type noises when they're a little difficult to to locate. And uh, <coughs> we have to use a little bit of assistance these types of tools to to get to the bottom of it. So anyways, this is not going to be a, the actual repair, it's just a, a demonstration of the tool, how to use it, and uh, how it helps us to determine certain type noises at times. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one. Ciao. Alright guys, so you didn't really think that I'll leave you hanging out, hanging without uh, doing a before and after, right? Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the, our, our receiver on. And uh, take a listen here. So, apparently there's a little bit of a difference between these transmitters and their, 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 their what you would call it, their settings or something. Um, because some senses sound a little louder than others or, or transmit more have more sensitivity than others so here we have number one I did swap out the position of number one with two um, to test that theory out because two which is in the front passenger side it tends to transmit a little bit more now so I don't know what the heck is up with that that must be a tool issue the transmitters or something I'm not 100% sure but the car is fixed that's number three there number four now all that all that really rot, loud screeching noise you're hearing is the brakes I did put new brake pads in the back so they're burnishing so they, they sound a little rougher than before when braking and that's gonna be obvious because for example I'm gonna brake right now see 
that's the pad so that that's we're gonna ignore that and that's the pad that right there pad noise we're gonna ignore that so let's go ahead and try to get a little bit more velocity transmitter issues but it's definitely when I sway the car I don't I don't hear that noise anymore so the vehicle is fixed for sure I can totally tell the difference um, it may be difficult for you guys to appreciate it on the on the uh, chassis here here because there there appears to be some kind of difference between the uh, the different transmitters and their sensitivity or something I really don't know how to explain that because I didn't make the tool, so I don't know. But I can tell you by feel and by test driving, problem has been fixed. So let me get this last little stretch here so we can conclude. cutting in and out now yeah I'm definitely having some transmitter issues three it sounds rough but that's a new bearing so I know that's fixed that's the brakes so we're gonna ignore the brake noise is super quiet there, there's definitely a difference here between transmitters number one see number two I don't know what's up with number two now I hope I didn't lose it somewhere <laughs> that would suck all right now we got a little dog in the way of the road everybody wants to be in the in the way today <laughs> Yeah, number two is super quiet now, so I don't know. I don't know if it shut off on me or... I know I didn't lose it because it's securely strapped to the frame, but... Maybe the, uh... The clip became undone or something. Number one, front passenger. Number three seems very sensitive now. It is probably picking up a little bit of uh, noise from the drum and the um, the drum and the parking brake, and also every time I brake, obviously you're gonna hear that screeching noise. So that's to be expected. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Um, that's how we use these tools, and when they work right, anyways, they can be very useful to finding those difficult to find noises. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Please like and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next video. Ciao.